Cottonwood Heights started as a city in 2005. We're one of the newest cities in the state of Utah. But our heritage and our roots go back to the Mormon pioneers who populated this valley originally in 1847. In fact, a unique subset of that pioneer heritage were African-American pioneers who came across with them. Uh, they chose to settle in what is now Cottonwood Heights. And so our heritage goes back to the early days of the pioneers who came to Utah. And we're very proud of that heritage. We celebrate that heritage on Pioneer Day every year. And we call that Butlerville Days. And even though we're one of the newest cities, we have one of the longest legacies in the, in the whole state. And we're very proud of that. That pioneering spirit has been what has driven us to create what we believe is an all-American city. We have created a city out of Salt Lake County of about 35,000 residents, and those citizens have banded together to create a city that will make their lives much more enjoyable as they've taken control of the basic services the cities provide. We have done some fairly extraordinary things in the first six years that we've been a city. To me, the proudest moment was the day that we voted to incorporate, that the citizens saw the, the benefit and the opportunity and seized it and said, let's do this thing. And then since that time, it's been a, a challenge to pull a brand new city together from scratch and make it work. Obviously, getting the city off the ground in a, in a strong financial position, having no debt, having our own police department that has become very, very efficient and effective, it was politically difficult to create our own police department, but from an operational point of view, it, it was done very well. And so we, we believe we hired the right people who came forward and were able to achieve that in short order, under budget, and on time. When we formed as a city, one of the challenges we were facing is that our side of the county had a declining youth population, whereas the other side, the west side of the county, had an increasing youth population. So the demands on education were much greater on the west side. The problem is that they began taking resources away from our side of the county in order to meet those needs. While we are certainly more than willing to do our fair share to educate kids because we are firm believers in education, we felt that the current administration of the school district had made choices that were very detrimental to our community. As a result, we banded with three other communities on our side of the county and decided to pursue legislation that would allow us to form our own school district. We have great respect for our youth and we're able to put them to work. We think they're very capable. As a result, we formed our Youth City Council. Now, some would think that a Youth City Council is set up just as pretty much an opportunity for youth to learn about city government. And while we do teach them about city government, we put them to work. This Youth City Council actually staffs many of the city activities and events that we hold. They're a key element for our Town Day celebration, Butlerville Days every summer. Our youth are very capable, and when it comes to emergency services, there are some of the first ones there to help with sandbagging or other kinds of activities and educating the community about being prepared for emergency services. Cottonwood Heights is the city between the canyons, and along that canyon line is one of the most significant faults in the state of Utah, the Wasatch Fault. So we know that at any time we could be subject to an earthquake, we have flooding, we have other events that occur in our community, and these citizens have made it possible for us to have a program that makes us extremely well prepared. All of those things have added to it, but probably the thing that is the most exciting to me is when we have our town days, our Butlerville Days celebration. When you get 10,000 residents out to celebrate the fact that we're a city and to share in the pioneer heritage of this city, we get a third of our citizens who come out for that event. That tells you that there is a real community feel here. The biggest challenges that we face are no different than any other city faces, and that is having the ability to have the resources to provide the services that citizens expect at the level they expect them. But the challenge is, is to continually fight the bureaucracy, stay focused on your goals, make sure that you're providing services at a high level at a reasonable cost so that the citizens feel like they're getting their money's worth from the taxes that they pay. That is quite an accomplishment.